there's a website I use, it's free. It's called similarweb.com. You're gonna wanna write that down. <clears throat> People always ask me at the end, what's that website again? So it's similarweb.com. When I go to similarweb.com, it looks kind of like this. And all I do is I type in the website URL of the funnel that I'm funnel hacking. So I typed in venusfactor.com, I clicked on search, and boom, check this out. It shows me tons of stuff about that website. It shows me how much traffic they're getting. It shows me uh, how long people stay on their websites, all sorts of stuff. So from this, uh, from this graph right here, I can see that right now Venus Factor gets between one and three million visitors a month. Okay, people ask me, how, how do they make uh, $50,000 a day? It's because they're getting three million people a month to come to their website, right? So that's the first thing I can see. Now, if I scroll down on the page a little further, check this out. It shows me who are the top referring websites. That means what websites are sending traffic to Venus Factor. Is that cool? So here's the top 10. If you look here on the left-hand side, the number one site that's sending the most traffic to Venus Factor is lifeguru.com. Number two is naturalnews.com. Number three is newsmax.com, and it kind of goes down from there. Now, how many of you guys know what lifeguru.com is? <laughs> yeah, I, I had no idea either. I'd never heard of it or seen it before, but I'm like, man, if they're sending that much traffic, I mean, who knows, maybe of the three million visitors a month they're getting, maybe a million a month are coming from lifeguru.com. I probably should go look at that site, <laughs> don't you think? So I go to the website, and this is what it looks like. It's just a basic blog, right? It's getting a ton of traffic. I was looking at it, and the blog teaches you how to find love and eat healthy and look fit. And I'm looking around the blog, I'm like, how in the world are they sending a million visitors a month to Venus Factor, and I'm going around, and all of a sudden, boom! I see this little banner ad. It's got a little, it's got a picture of a banana. It says Five Foods Never Eat. I click on it, and guess where it takes me? You're right. It took me to VenusFactor.com. Okay. Now I go back inside of a similar web. If I scroll down the page a little bit further, there's a little button that says Show the Ads, and I click on that. It actually shows me all of the banner ads that Venus Factor has been running. Okay, it shows them to me for free. Now, they do have an upgraded option. You can pay a little bit more, and if you do the upgraded option, not only do they show you the banner ads, it also gives you detailed stats. It'll show me this, and say this banner ad right here, this one ran for two weeks, and then we never saw it again. But this ad right here, this one's been running for 728 days, and it's still running today. Is that crazy? So if I see an ad, I know it's been running for 728 days, what do you think I should do, right? We know it works, obviously. Okay, so right now I know two really, really important things. First, I know exactly where they're advertising, and second, I know exactly what they're saying to get people to click on the ads. Okay, so if I know those two things, what do you guys think we should do? <clears throat> okay, if you've been paying attention during today, you know my answer is probably gonna be this. You should model what works, right? We should model the message of the ads, we should model the design, we should model the sizes. So what we do is you gotta go get your banner ads design, and the website I use is called $20banners.com, so I go there, and I just basically, I, I show them the, uh, my competitor's banner ads, and I say, I need something similar. And notice, again, I didn't say copy. <clears throat> okay, I didn't copy their banner ad, but they have a pretty girl on there, so I have a pretty girl. They have a purple headline, I got a purple headline. Okay, I model the look and the fill and the layout because they have already proven that on sites like uh, lifeguru.com, this is the style ad that gets people to click. So I'm gonna model theirs as close as I can. And then after I have the banner ad design, guess what I do, you guys? It's pretty complicated. I go back to the exact same website that my competitor is buying ads on, and I buy ads on the exact same website. How many of you guys just had an aha moment right there? <laughs>